Hey guys, what's up? Sheikh Suman here from Biotechnica and today we are talking about predatory journals. Well, before even I get started, I have something to share with you. There are two ways you can earn money in this capitalist economy. One is be honest, create something of value and then give it to people. They will buy it. Or the other is fraud them. Sell something cheap or probably um, you know lure them into a trap and just fraud them right defraud them this is how the capitalist economy works it's a brighter side and the dark side now let's come back to today's topic today we are talking about predatory journals now all of your research life you are told okay go and publish your paper right on some journal and sometimes you're given a target now what happens when you're given a target you have to publish right and while you're trying to publish some people saw this nervousness inside you your weakness that you want to publish so they started some fraud journals so today i am going to tell you how to detect these fraud journals and how to save yourself from these fraud fraud and predatory journals okay so to get started we have to say the magic word and that is let's get started So today we are talking about predatory journals, signs and signatures, which will warn you that actually you are about to fall into a trap. Now, we know, we all know the importance of publishing a paper, but what if you end up publishing in a bad journal, which probably, you know, defrauds you by taking money? Well, we need to know what are the signs and symptoms. So the first pointer of today is similar name. So, um, suppose the famous journal is nature they could be creature or something similar so similar names will you know help them get the popularity i know a company which tried to uh, fake people about biotechnica by creating a website which was not actually a biotechnica right similarly people try to create something like naturejournal.com or some famous journal similar names it will be so you will think actually that you are you know uh, publishing your paper in nature but actually it is not nature it is something else right or it could be naturedelhi.com something like that next thing you will find their website poorly designed now what happens there uh, is they really are in a hurry to make a lot of money so most of the time they will not spend a lot of time on designing very nice good website which is user friendly so most of the time you'll find them poorly designed website okay the third sign and signature is there will not be any complete editorial board information. So basically in every journal, there will be some reputed members who are going to review your paper, right? So no complete information will be there, which is verifiable. For example, they say that X, Mr. XYZ is there is on the board of the journal. But when you go to that person's LinkedIn profile, it's not there, right? So this is the third pointer for today. The next one. This particular journal seems to be fairly new or probably it is not indexed in major databases across the globe. So if that is happening, then you know where is the problem. The problem could be this is a fake journal or a predatory journal, right? The next part is the point number five. It could have some vague submission guidelines. It will not be having stringent submission guidelines. It will be because they're in a hurry to make a lot of money. They will just mention that, you know, you just submit your paper and three easy steps, blah, blah, blah. Right. So it will have vague submission guidelines. It will not be stringent. Okay. The next part, which is there for you is there will be a history of fake publishing. So generally what happens is somebody is frauding somebody those people will go and write review that hey this particular uh, journal is fake they have frauded me so whenever somebody approaches you saying that okay you published your paper in this journal you can google out and find out some fake uh, some reviews about their fakeness or some uh, the fraudism they have done so this will help you decide whether this journal is fr fraud or not moving ahead to the seventh point 
they generally in fact most of the time 99% of the times they are going to charge you a application fee and it could be a publishing fee they, there can be different names okay that it, they could call it as a publication fee application fee you know uh, submission fee what not okay different names they could be like uh, you know uh, review fee <laughs> there, there could be several names but if you are submitting a paper in a journal, they have to accept it. They should not charge you. Even if they're charging, it should be a reputed Scopus Index Journal. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. So, okay, seven points covered and we have seven more to go. Now, the next point, which is again, very important for you is, is scandalous and scam centric. So when they're scandalous and scam centric, they will really be not be bothered about the quality of the paper. So they will just take your paper and that is a sign. They will not have stringent guidelines. They will not, uh, they will not have, um, a lot of uh, you know do's and don'ts and uh, stuff they'll straight away there'll be one application process and they'll take it so and they'll you know charge you money so these are the signs you can have so they, they they will be scandalous in nature and you will get a smell of it very early as soon as you're talking to them now point number nine they will approach you most of the times they will approach you they'll call you they will you know contact you via linkedin or via call and email and say that hi hey we saw your you know publication would you like to publish with us we have this 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 so what really happens is you are already under the pressure under the anxiety under the dilemma that you have to achieve your targets you need to publish right well everybody is but that does not mean that you will you know your quality research work gets published in some tom dick harry research journal and then you later on don't get the impact out of it okay so that is where they you should not publish in these journals and this is what happens they will generally approach you they'll seem scandalous and scam centric they will be very friendly with you they will try to you know sort things out for you they'll go actually one extra mile ahead of regular journals in solving your problems okay that's something which is like okay if there is a smoke there must be fire now the tenth one no peer review process so what you can do is you can go on their website and check some or you can go and check their journal and see some of the papers which has already been published has the peer review been done the moment you see you will get to know spelling mistakes a lot of stuff will be there factual errors will be there so if you look at those so if you find out that there is no pre peer review process uh, in publication of the previous research papers and as well as right now also they're just taking your paper and they're not even reviewing their state away publishing that means you are being scammed you should save yourself next pointer which i have for you that's 11th one is they will publish without delay because they want to earn money so they will you know charge your card and straight away go, go for publishing because they want to give you instant gratification but that is where the question is should you even think about it see you publish your paper i mean you worked on your research for years together now that you want to publish and this guy is trying to scam you it's sad it's bad it should not happen and that's the reason you have to you know warn yourself right now if you are about to submit your paper that okay this has happened also another point which is there is that there will be a no refund policy they will say that okay if money you have paid we are not going to refund you even if they have mentioned that they will refund they will never ever you know probably uh, refund you because it's a scam right so yeah so that's something which you have to keep in mind next one no copy editing proof reading what they do is they will straight away go in publish they won't even see you know you know uh, spelling mistakes gram grammatical mistake probably because they're in a hurry of making money you see um I'm from India. I know a lot of journals who, which are predatory in India and which are uh, fooling a lot of Chinese, Russian and um, European and yeah, American researchers. And I must warn you, if you are watch watching me from out of India or anywhere in the world, you have to remember these are the pointers. And please comment below if you have if you have already been scammed and what has really happened. Share your story so that we can warn others about it. OK, or if you saved yourself from being scammed, even share that story as well okay so now to the 13th point the origin of journal will be in a country which is having a lax ip law so intellectual property laws are not uniform across the world sadly and that is the reason some um, people fraud these 
rich uh, country uh, researchers or researchers in these countries and then make some quick money but that's bad that should not happen and you should find out this particular uh, journal originates from which country are they from a country of having strong ip laws because later on if there is an issue you will be able to sue them if they do not take down your research paper or don't refund you you know a lot of uh, things are involved so yeah you need to check the journal law you know origin of journal uh, and it should not be in a country which is having a bad ip law which sadly includes india also so i'm not saying this should be the only deciding factor there are other 12 factors which i said now coming to the last point which is the conclusion which i have for you guys and that's that is remember it always feels sad when you are cheated it always feels betrayal and uh, there are a lot of ways you can avoid yourself from being cheated while you're trying to publish because there are people who are trying to make a lot of money just through that which is wrong even if there is application fee or uh, a capacitation fee doesn't mean that a journal is bad or good or predatory in nature you have to you know probably write down these pointers and do, do a check mark which ones it you know uh, ticks off if the majority is being ticking off don't publish there rather probably ask in the comment section biotechnica has a very strong community of researchers you can ask me i come live every wednesday uh, via my telegram channel and i always talk to my uh, subscribers and i will help you out there so this is all about today's session guys i tried my best to compile as many predatory points predatory journal points which will warn you off from getting cheated however the list is not complete these journals keep outsmarting people they keep and they try to uh, bring in new tips tricks um, of you know new fraudism ways they are try to uh, find so yeah so if, if there is anything new or anything i missed please put them down in the comment section so that the future generations can be warned of this evil which exists in our society called as predatory journal science thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye